Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lovebot Network campaign where I don't really remember much. I remember... Oh, that's right. Okay. Things are coming back to me. It's been a little while since I played, obviously. Um, yeah, we were looking at fighting with these guys, weren't we? Because we can't fight with these guys, which I was hoping to get to because they put like a frontier outpost. Yeah, they put a frontier outpost out. These guys are extremely scary, and we have absolutely no way really dealing with them at the moment. And you are a rival? Oh, because you're friends with other people? No, I don't know why. You just want to be rivals. All right, so what we were doing, we were trying to like build up as much as possible, right? I think that was our main goal. And we're building starports. Uh, let's take a look at our planets. Just make sure everything's in order. Science is fine. We don't need to upgrade that. You are ready for upgrades, but we don't have the minerals. Yeah, but they're getting away from us in tech. So I think really what we want to do right now is just focus all of our minerals into spaceports and the corvettes, I guess, because we don't have destroyer tech. We are getting destroyer tech, but it's going to be really far in the future. We'll probably get it mid-war. Um, we're already at our cap, so let's go ahead and invest in some spaceports. Allow the game to run. We need to speed things up. And um, I am recording these ahead of the day before, basically. I'm recording these the day before. And... Uh, yeah, there may be, like, missed days and stuff throughout the week, but there will be content on the channel. At the very least, I will record, you know, a little Cuphead or a little Heat Signature. And I'm sorry that the schedule is just going to be all kinds of wonky this week, but that's my fault for being lazy as shit over the weekend. So, I'm sorry. Um, we did get some engineering research, which is good. That's going to go towards our destroyers here. We can do that. Spaceport upgrade. It looks like we got one of our spaceports already upgraded, so we can build a couple more Corvettes. Which we will queue up when we can. And it looks like we're getting five per spaceport, so we're going to have another 15 fleet cap to fill. I should also, actually, just double check, make sure we got the best design out here right now. It looks like we don't. We're definitely going to put some deflectors on. Deflectors are useful. Early game, maybe not so much with the Corvettes, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to save that. So we're going to be ready to upgrade our ships. That's going to be in the queue somewhere, right? No? Should go in the queue. Preparing ships for upgrade on Earth. System survey complete. I don't know why it's not in the queue, but... There it is. There's the upgrade. All right. Perfect. It just needed some minerals. Ship augmentations completed. We're doing some surveys and stuff. All, none of that stuff really matters. All that really matters is that we need to build up our navy really, really big. So that we can actually fight these guys. Because if we don't, we are going to die. This is really going to be a defining moment. Construction complete. In our empires. Well, you know what? One thing we could do... Make sure our construction ship is doing mining stations. Looks like he's already got those. Alpha Centauri's got some stuff. Uh, 5% failure risk, sure, go for it. Cool. Very cool. Um, problem is, I have a feeling these guys are going to win. Quite handily. Um, if we declared war, would we be able to maybe do some damage? I don't think so. I think we would get squashed. I think our, our real goal is to fight here. If we can fight these guys, we can win. Assist research. Cool. Um, we also want fusion reactors or improved deflectors. We're going to improve deflectors. Running a little low on energy here. Our construction ship has 
this queued. Okay, that's fine. Let's unpause. That anomaly's getting researched. We have a negative balance. For some reason, someone towed an asteroid into stable orbit around Jared 3. Um... It was mined, and then they gave up on it. We get some engineering research out of the asteroid if we decide to build a station there. Okay, more rivals going out. Lots of hostilities in the area. Uh, we unlocked the tile blocker. That's fine. Uh, borders moved, I think. Looks like they might have colonized something. I think so. Not entirely sure, but... I would guess. Army upkeep, navy capacity, or clearing more tile blockers. Are those tile blockers mission critical right now? I think not. So I think we'll go naval capacity. We kind of need more power. Which would be Menchib, right? Menchib's the power planet. So... Let's put you there. Energy grid? Energy grid's not a bad idea. Produces two, and then also we got the, uh... Wait, doesn't it? No, that's the silos. The silos give you bonuses to nearby stuff. Oh, well. I think the energy grid makes the most sense here. Try and get that bonus. Then we're probably gonna have to build some extra power stuff. On the side. Could upgrade you. I don't know if we really want to. Let's let's do it. We'll upgrade them and then we can do that. Yeah, we're gonna leave all of that alone. We're building our power stations in space now, so at least we're neutral in our credits. Another 5% failure risk, go for it. I don't see why not. Need to build more Corvettes. Build them all. 26 of 30, so we're almost at our limit, which means that we're pretty much ready to go to war. I don't know how we look towards them. More or less equivalent. But their tech is superior. Having probed the frozen landscapes of the moon and Chiba, um, Roman numerals are hard. 4A. We think that we struck something big. Science officer Unit G3 speaks of bacterial life forms unlike any other. Bonded with other form. Okay, we're going to improve our energy. And we will do this. Uh, did we already get this modifier? I feel like we might have. Maybe not. Maybe it was another game. We're going to do it to our economy because we could use it in the economy right now. Does it show up? Maybe it just doesn't show up in that list. I don't know. It's fine. Strength from small spaces. We get energy credits plus 5%. Looks good. And yeah, I mean, once we start building over our fleet cap, we might may as well declare war. Kind of going to be all we got. Looks like we got a cautious guy, which is fine. I like it. I'm going to make sure you're the rally point. We're going to turn off the rally point on Earth. Uh, we should consider building armies, but if we can't defeat their fleet... You know what? We're, we're not going to build the armies yet. All right, we're at our limit. We can, we can go over a bit here. Um... I'm not going to worry about building the armies until we pacified their fleet, basically. So I can have that many, you know, extra corvettes. 16 and 74? Jesus Christ. Something happened, and I don't know what. Oh, the construction ship is building things, I guess. You know what? Build those mining stations, too. We need everything that we can get. We're going to continue building Corvettes. And yeah, once we start going negative, we're going to 
Construction complete. Um, declare war, because that's kind of the tipping point where we want to start losing Corvettes rather than gaining them. Missing tech. Okay, we don't have the tech yet. Just making sure. Yeah, I mean, just gonna, I guess, queue these up individually because we can't really do much else. Hopefully this is going to be enough. I don't know. 16k fleet power is pretty insignificant, honestly. Somebody got ill or something. I don't know. I'm not reading it. I'm more worried about our mad dash to defeat these guys because that's going to be the most important thing. How much fleet power is a space station? 1.1k, so, I mean, we would have the ability to properly fight the station after we've destroyed their fleet, of course. System survey complete. Once the survey's going on, that's fine. What's this science ship doing? Nothing. Construction complete. Nowhere to explore. We did get the science thing. And I think you were in position to assist research? Yeah, that's what we were doing. Now, where are you? Oh, that's right. You got trapped out here, and I had to. I'm gonna have to, like, build another ship to bring you home. That's fine. That's fine. More of these. Resource storage full. Influence. Okay, we're full up on influence. Let's use that for something. See what we got for edicts. Infrastructure patrol drones. I think capacity overload's the best thing we got. Unless we want to do anything in here. I don't think that we do though. I think we're fine. Um let's find our best power producer. I guess it doesn't really matter. There's two good power producers. Let's do Earth. Just because, you know, it's a more defensible location to have the Edict active when we are at war. And let's make sure that we are continuing to build all the Corvettes. Technological acquisition successful. We got naval capacity tech, so that's going to be helpful. Next thing we can do: unity, naval capacity, or tile blockers. I don't, I don't know. I guess naval capacity again. None of those are particularly in my best interest at the moment, but it's fine. System survey complete. Yeah, go for it. Signs of battle. Clear evidence that a massive space battle took place. The wrecked ships are in poor condition. The fact that anything remains after all the damage was sustained is a testament to the advanced design. We uh, can mount an expedition. Interesting. Yeah, research it. You're here anyways. More Corvettes. I mean, we can field a pretty large fleet, honestly. It's no, you know, amazing 300k fleet or anything like that, but it should be enough to scare these guys at least, right? It still says equivalent. Those... That's just not enough. It's not enough. Slightly better, slightly worse, or something. Like, there needs to be more than just the, like, five degrees of fleet power comparison there. It's like, equivalent could mean that they're going to crush me in the first battle, or equivalent could mean that I'm going to crush them in the first battle. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't mean anything. Technological Is there anything? Corvette assembly yards. You know, probably would have been smart to make those, huh? 
Um, power plant twos. I think that's a pretty strong move. I say we go with those. Did you do this thing already? I guess you did. I must have clicked through that. Sorry. Um, so what we want to do probably go to Seoul. Build a science ship. I think we're going to build that too. We can close that. And basically, we're just going to transfer the scientist to this science ship. It's going to go... Which one are you? ISS Voyager... Doesn't say the scientist's name. The Voyager, you. G3. Alright, you're home now. You are going to assist research. And this ship is going to get disbanded. And yeah, we're good. We're done. Why is there... Okay, there isn't now. Alright. Weird little bug thing, because it's paused and all of that. That makes sense. Alright, Corvettes. Oh, and we can also upgrade our Corvettes here. Technological acquisition successful. Sort of. A little bit. I don't know if that's really an upgrade, but we're going to go for it anyways. Got more tech. Uh, robo modding, mineral silo, mineral processing plant one, engineering facility. Let's do the engineering facility, I suppose. Oh, we got destroyers. Okay. Cancel the Corvettes. Fuck it. Cancel that too. We're going to build some destroyers. So, load them up with the missiles. Do that. Those are fine. Let me give them, I don't know, two medium shields, and then probably the rest will be power. Nope. Oh, that's all shields. My bad. Yeah, not quite, unfortunately. So we'll do, like... Shit. Well, that works, I guess. Um, and then we're going to build some of those. Once we can, of course. Also, we should probably build some more um, spaceports because that will allow us to field a larger navy. Just waiting on this. Come on. Speed three is not fast enough. Complete. All right, we're going to do one of those. Going to do a couple more upgrades. Um, And yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to build destroyers after this. They are a little expensive. Construction complete. Pretty far over our fleet cap, but we're still not getting getting screwed yet, so that's fine. Construction complete. Sweet. Construction complete. We are like just barely making enough to queue up one destroyer at a time. Don't have the tech, right? Yeah, we don't have the tech for that. Um, I think we don't worry about that spaceport until we are, like, running out of complete. energy credits. Again, the influence. Um, we already got capacity overload there, so we're going to do it here. Seems like the only smart thing to do. Would be nice to have the mineral one, so we can do that one as well, but we don't. Construction complete. 
Gonna wait for the next monthly tick. Technological there we go. Successful. Got power plant twos, cool. Research alternatives is pretty tempting, but I think we really need the fusion reactors. So we really need to upgrade our fleet. Um, you guys like construction fleet power company. inferior. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. They have an inferior fleet, which means that we're probably in a position that's decent to attack them. They're still superior in every way. That's very scary. But yeah, their fleet power is inferior before we even upgrade our fleet. So I think. We're ready to declare war. We're just going to wait for our ships to get upgraded. Which is going to take about a month. And then we're going to be ready. Ship augmentations completed. Cool. Ships are ready. Let's declare war. Um, what? Oh, they have friends. Fuck. Are you guys still at war? Okay, their friends don't really matter, I don't think. Is there a way to, like, see? War score, negative 45. Yeah, they're getting fucked over. The fleet power is still equivalent, somehow. Huh. I wonder how they lost so much war score. What's it a war about? At war. Offensive war. I don't I don't know. I don't know what the deal is over there. But I think that they're gonna be a little tied up with their war, so I think that we can. Oh, you're at war with them too. Interesting. I think declaring now is actually a good idea. Alright. So what we do, we're going to take Inust, Zelmadok, that place. So that one, that one, that one, Skull, and Mintaka. Looking good. That's 95 war score. So, I mean, Sith Imperium. I mean, we could outright vassalize them. Is that a good play? I don't think so. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. Maybe it is a good... No. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good play for us. Because, like, we're gonna get a ton of unity, but we're also making a ton of unity. Let's let's try it. We can always integrate them. So, you know, let's let's vassalize them. How about that? We wanna vassalize you. Only 70 war score to vassalize them. That's pretty damn cheap. I don't know, we can like liberate a planet off you too. Colador. No, not that one. Um car or something. They're all very expensive. Maybe we don't do any of that. Fine. Whatever. Can I, like, humiliate them, maybe? Doesn't seem like it. No! Well, I can humiliate these guys, but whatever. They're gonna be my vassal. Destroy Frontier Outpost. Now that's a thing. Well, that one's gonna get destroyed, but I could, like, destroy one of these. I don't know if I want to do that, because it's just gonna help these guys, and these guys are the real threat. So, you know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. Confirm. We are at war. And I'm gonna end this episode here. So, in the next one, we're actually gonna do some fighting. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying. I know it's pretty damn boring, but... Hey, at least it's Stellaris again, because it's been a little while. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.